Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, two very important topics of uh, hypothalamus and thalamus on page 498 of first aid. Many MCQs are uh, compiled from these two entities and uh, they are present on this page. Some are added afterwards. Uh, before we move on to the physiology, we should learn something about the anatomy that is given on page 500. We can see here that uh, uh, there are lateral ventricles and uh, two lateral ventricles downward is the third ventricle. The third ventricle is bounded laterally by thalamus. So uh, the most part of it, two third part in fact. So it's asked in MCQ the thalamus forms lateral two third of third ventricle. Then below thalamus is hypothalamus uh, we know and hypothalamus uh, uh, control the pituitary secretions. Uh, subthalamic nucleus is below hypothalamus so we shouldn't confuse subthalamus from hypothalamus so first there is thalamus then hypothalamus then subthalamus and then substantia nigra so subthalamic nucleus if damage results in hemibelismus and substantia nigra if damage results in parkinsonism these are two mcq asked uh, substantia nigra is famous we know that uh, parkinson disease or parkinsonism and loss of neurotransmitter is dopamine and in subthalamic loss is GABA same uh, loss of GABA uh, takes place in two other um, diseases one is chorea chorea is loss of GABA in caudate nucleus uh, caudate nucleus is here and uh, uh, it is also given on page 509 uh, about chorea and athetosis and athetosis is also loss of GABA but in globus pallidus uh, here so globus pallidus with putamen forms lentiform nucleus uh, they are present lateral to thalamus this anatomy is important and uh, the diseases associated with uh, loss of which neurotransmitter uh, are often asked for chorea for athetosis for hemibelismus is GABA and related nuclei for hemibelismus is th subthalamic Chorea is caudate and athetosis it is globus pallidus and for Parkinsonism uh, the loss is uh, not of GABA rather DOPA we give dopamine we, uh, we know that uh, medicine for Parkinsonism so it is uh, in the substantia nigra below uh, subthalamus so after uh, learning this uh, anatomy we can move on to the functions of uh, them so we know that hypothalamus is below thalamus here hypothalamus is written first and thalamus afterwards will follow the scheme of the page uh, so uh, hypo whenever they ask about hypothalamus they will ask uh, about uh, different uh, centers like thirst center water uh, balance hunger centers and whenever they ask about thalamus thalamus is the relay center of all ascending sensory information so question asked is about sensory perceptions like vibration pain face sensation vision hearing so we have to keep a basic uh, difference in mind that thalamus is for sensory information input and hypothalamus is for control by hormones or neurotransmitters so here are the mcq the first is the hypothalamus involved involved in thirst and water balance and hypothalamus is stimulated by angiotensin 2 it is given on page 588 you can check on first aid uh, that hypothalamus is, uh, is stimulated by angiotensin 2 uh, to increase the thirst uh, whenever there is a hypovolemia so angiotensin 2 and thirst and water balance are asked then hypothalamus controls the adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis both uh, uh, by adeno, adenohypophysis and tear pituitary by releasing hormones and neurohypophysis uh, by uh, directly secreting hormones into uh, posterior pituitary uh, that is oxytocin and ADH and uh, uh, all are releasing hormone excitatory hormones that uh, uh, excites for example for thyroid that is TRH and for uh, corticotrophin releasing hormone for gonadotrophin releasing hormone releasing hormone only inhibitory hormone is prolactin inhibitory factor or PAF that is uh, in fact dopamine uh, 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 that uh, inhibits uh, prolactin 
secretion so hypothalamus produce only one inhibitory hormone or neurotransmitter you can say that is dopamine or PIF uh, that is a prolactin inhibitory factor so prolact it inhibits the prolactin secretion so whenever there will be a uh, loss of connection between hypothalamus and pituitary all hormones of pituitary will decrease except prolactin that will increase so uh, that was the scenario like this uh, so only inhibitory hormone by hypothalamus is uh, PIF that is dopamine other MCQ asked about hypothalamus it is a hunger center it is, it, is, it is where the autonomic nervous system originates or is controlled it is a center for temperature and for sexual urges as well we will learn all these uh, in with their nuclei here so first we take out hunger uh, for hunger we can say that uh, one thing is hunger other is satiety uh, so uh, we feel uh, hungry because of lateral nucleus of hypothalamus uh, so if it is destroyed because diseases are usually the under function of the area so if lateral nucleus is destroyed uh, there will be no hunger or very less hunger so uh, it will result in anorexia and failure to thrive and uh, uh, stimulation of the lateral nucleus that is the hunger center stimulation is by ghrelin ghrelin is uh, uh, released in stomach uh, uh, so it uh, stimulates the lateral nucleus so we feel hungry after some uh, after uh, some hours of uh, food when uh, body glucose level goes down ghrelin is released it acts on lateral nucleus of hypothalamus and uh, it increases hunger so uh, I, mcq asked is about ghrelin uh, uh, where it acts on the lateral nucleus and uh, lateral injury uh, makes you lean uh, it is clear that if hunger center is destroyed uh, you won't eat much and your weight will be reduced anorexia or becoming lean is the same thing now we move on to the medial nucleus it is in fact ventromedial in opposite to lateral it is ventromedial nucleus that is the satiety center uh, and ventromedial is for satiety so destruction will lead to overeating patient won't get satiety and just opposite of lateral nucleus destruction uh, it will lead to uh, overeating and that is called hyperphagia it is an mcq from paper and uh, then uh, stimulated by leptin uh, so leptin will stimulate the uh, satiety center and will lead to decrease appetite another mcq so ghrelin versus leptin lateral nucleus versus ventromedial nucleus hunger versus satiety second pair of nuclei are anterior and posterior nucleus uh, uh, from lateral and medial we move on to anterior and posterior anterior is for cooling a and c a c for cooling anterior for cooling and also overall temperature control is in anterior so uh, the center for temperature control is in the interior as well as cooling center posterior is for heating uh, this pair is complete now we move on to another confusing pair that is suprachiasmatic and supraoptic suprachiasmatic is above the optic chiasma it is for circadian rhythm like sleep wake cycle and we will cover in sleep uh, phases as well uh, it is important nucleus and then supra optic is for ADH and paraventricle is for oxytocin uh, they are two important uh, uh, MCQs are supra optic ADH they have uh, written a sad box to remember it that supra uh, optic uh, for ADH and uh, paraventricular for oxytocin or vasopressin otherwise its name and then pre optic uh, uh, nucleus uh, it is thermoregulation uh, uh, control center as well but if they specifically ask about temperature control we prefer anterior nucleus and also, also control sexual behavior and a release of GnRH so we know GnRH is related to uh, uh, sexual maturation so pre-optic uh, GnRH uh, is released so if there is damage to pre-optic it will lead to decrease uh, GnRH production and one syndrome is asked in MCQ that is Calvin syndrome failure of GnRH producing neurons to migrate from olfactory pit it leads to Kalman syndrome uh, in the pre-optic nucleus uh, presents with a hypogonadism so hypogonadism is uh, present with pre-optic nucleus and it is a Kalman syndrome 
And then moving on to the thalamus. Thalamus is the relay center all sensory information of body except olfaction. That is an MCQ of an asked. Then thalamic lesion causes a hyperesthesia on opposite side of body because uh, one most important sensation it takes is pain. And unlike other sensation, there is loss of pain and as well as there is hyperesthesia for pain, overactivation of pain. So uh, we have nuclei here that is uh, VPL, VPM, lateral geniculate, medial geniculate, all the fancy names here. Uh, uh, two pairs VPL, VPM, ventro postro lateral and ventro postro medial we covered together they take uh, sensation uh, most of for most of the body part for example ventro postro lateral uh, is uh, taking uh, all these spinothalamic tracts uh, that are anterior spinothalamic for example uh, that uh, anterior lateral for pain and temperature I have quoted them right we know that spinothalamic tract uh, most important is the anterior lateral pathway for pain and temperature then dorsal column medial meniscal system it uh, takes uh, vibration pressure proprioception and light touch not the crude touch so all these are mcqs uh, that ventro postural literal is involved in pain light touch temperature vibration pressure proprioception and it, it takes to the primary somatosensory cortex so all the sensation are finally merged into primary somatosensory cortex and thalamus will have the second order nuclei that is also asked uh, because spinal cord uh, uh, we have the first order entering to spinal cord and the second order nuclei are present in the these nuclei of the thalamus uh, ventro postro lateral nucleus it is a second order uh, it gives rise to second order neuron third order are in the brain and then uh, ventro postro medial nucleus medial is for makeup for face so uh, it takes sensation from face we know that a trigeminal nerve is the main nerve taking sensation from face so ventro postural medial it is a trigeminal nerve and another nerve that is involved with face is facial nerve and we know that facial nerve takes taste sensation from anterior to uh, two third of the tongue uh, that is called a tamponi branch uh, so uh, all these uh, general sensation from trigeminal and special sensation gustatory for example taste sensation are taken by ventro postro medial nucleus medial for face and special sensation from tongue note uh, that uh, taste is by thalamus while satiety by hypothalamus both are related function when we eat food we have taste and we get satiety after eating it but satiety center is a ventro medial nucleus and here it is ventro postro medial nucleus of thalamus not a hypothalamus uh, so these things often confuse uh, people uh, the sensation is a part of uh, thalamus and also other mcqs are related to uh, uh, thalamus are lateral geniculate nucleus and medial geniculate nucleus these two pairs a lateral geniculate lateral is for light uh, that is it takes vision uh, all the visual pathway follows into lateral geniculate nucleus uh, second cranial nerve and medial geniculate is for music it takes the uh, uh, pathways of uh, hearing or to the auditory cortex so uh, two special senses here and one special sense is above that is taste uh, uh, another mcq that is asked is that uh, what is this fly of thalamus so most of it is by pca that supplies the thalamus posterior cerebral artery and three other mcqs are that thalamus damage leads to permanent coma so because it takes so many sensation and if they are lost uh, it will lead to permanent coma obstruction of pca leads to permanent coma then prolonged coma is in the periaqueductal gray matter that is another mcq uh, i have written here because it confuses with thalamus that is permanent coma and deep coma is nucleus cereolus uh, and uh, one other mcq hemibilismus is because of subthalamic nuclei not the thalamus nor the hypothalamus subthalamus is a different entity and we have covered it here that uh, uh, there is thalamus then hypothalamus then subthalamic nuclei so thalamus for most of sensory sensation hypothalamus uh, for sexual sensations uh, gnrh release uh, thirst center uh, hunger center heating center and subthalamus uh, for hemibilismus and loss of GABA takes place uh, which leads to this uh, 
hemibelismus on the opposite side so these are very important mcqs you have to keep these two pages together so all are covered together thank you